Hello, Gemini. <laughs> this is your love story reading for mid-September. I hope you're doing amazing. Um, if you're new, hello, my name is Amber. It's nice to meet you. If you're returning, thank you for lending your energy to the channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you need a private reading, I do those as well. Links in the description box below. Or you can go to the uh, website up above on the bar. Let's see. We're going to jump right in. Please remember this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. Um, if it resonates, it resonates. Some might. Some will. Who knows? Um, yeah. Your general reading will be out this week. Check the schedule below in the description box. And let's get started. Gemini. Gemini, why do I feel like somebody is trying to get you to talk? Yeah, someone's trying to get you to talk. And I feel like you're utilizing your free will right now not to do anything. Um, it's like you're holding something to yourself. And there's another person that is trying to get you to open up. Or maybe getting you, trying to get you to change your mind about something, but I don't see you eager to change your mind. It's almost like both of you have different ideas of what's better for everybody in the situation. Yeah, you've got a higher level of understanding of some sort of love relationship you're in. And you see that it's not going in a good direction. And I feel like you're closing off or you're thinking about what you're going to do next. This person is trying to get things started again or get things working. Um, it, it's very interesting because it feels like both of you feel like if you can talk it out, the other person will see your side. But everyone involved in this has a different mindset or a different way of viewing how things should go this person knows that you're pulling back they're fully aware of that fact and they're like well i'm gonna come bring as much love and stuff as I can in this, but I don't feel like you care as much. Dedicated effort talks about hard work talks about working on something new as well focused on something else is the message that i'm getting so you start off with a shine the thing about this shine card is i feel like it's a sense of understanding being wrapped up in a sense of understanding of what's going on so you're looking at things differently um it's like you took a, a risk for your own happiness to probably end something or come to a conclusion about someone. You do realize that you need balance in your life. And <laughs> Gemini, having balance means either leaving something behind or changing the aspects of something. And you're scared of what's going to happen. You're scared of the outcome if you finally put an end to something. Um, but you know that it's the right thing to do for yourself. I do feel like this is something you've been dealing with or thinking about for quite some time. Um, I almost feel like this person is so involved in their selves, their own thinking, their own understanding, that they feel like you've come to some sort of agreement because you're not arguing anymore, or that you're not discussing anymore, or the conflict has went away. 
So they could, they, they feel like they're happy that this is ending, either being over or they feel like because you're not fighting, things are okay. I do feel like both of you um, have your own, your sights set on what your own dream come true is and ready to go on that journey to find that. Gemini, I feel big breaks here. Someone's taking a break or leaving something behind. It's interesting because it's still here. Meaning that both of you have some sort of connection. It's like a separation or a split to find happiness. And both of you are excited about it in your own ways. Huh. It's like amicable, but not amicable. <laughs> It's like inside, you're like, yes. And on the outside, you're like, oh, this is unfortunate. Like that. Yeah. You've been overindulging in this love situation for quite some time, both of you. Trying to make things happy or make things good. Um, but both of you haven't been seeing eye to eye for quite some time. There is a connection between you two which has held you for this long. But it's like you're starting to see the truth of the matter. You're starting to see what really is. There is plenty of potential here which helps you drive this thing along. You know what I mean? Uh, so far, that's what's helped you drive this thing along. But you also know that there is... There are things that you have to do to be productive and for yourself and your own happiness. And you're deciding to do that. You know, it's it's one of those uh, no holds bar type of things. You're doing what makes you happy. So, yeah, you're going towards your happiness, which this could be another love offer. Um, this could be you just driving towards what makes you happy. Because I feel like this is something that... will make your life seem more balanced and you're excited about it. There's a secret excitement about it because you don't want to look too excited too fast. You don't want to transition out of things too fast either. I feel like you want to get your ducks in, the row, in a row but still be moving forward, Gemini. Yeah. You don't know what's going to come up. You don't know what's going to happen with this person that you're dealing with. But all you know right now is that you want to be happy. You want joy in your life. And that's what you're trying to accomplish. Your person feels more in their space. I feel like they're happy about a new transition in their life. Which is interesting. Um, it's like they're secretly happy to move out as well, but it's, it's like, so they can do what they want to do. Yours is different and more structured. Like you're trying to find happiness, the best job for you, the best situation, um, living your life in a happy way. And they are more happy about going out to be reckless. It, it feels to me like this is what they're telling themselves that they need. Like maybe to go back to old habits or something. Like this is what they need to help them close out this chapter. But they'll learn the hard way that that's not the truth here. So it's like someone pretending to be happy that you're making the transitions. It's going to be a lot of responsibility. I feel like working things out as far as if you have things like a home or cars or a marriage, like working those things out. But I feel like you're going to be pushing through those. This person is going to be kind of all over the place, but I feel like you're going to push to get things in order. So that, I don't see a problem.
This is a realization that this is taking a big hit in love. Uh, this is about learning how to unlove someone. Learning how to not make that person a priority anymore. Dealing with jealousy issues. I feel like that's the other person more than you. And knowing that the best thing to do right now is to move forward. And to not take any hate or hurt with you. Yeah, it's about building yourself. That was the whole point. The whole point was learning how to build yourself up. Be happy with what you have surrounding you. And make sure that it nurtures you. And thinking about your future. And making those decisions to make that happen for yourself. Yeah, there's some part of this that you're ignoring and I almost feel like it may be the other person that's ignoring the love part of this. The part that you're doing this out of care and not to be in a situation that n neither one of you are happy in or needs or that needs to be worked on. Not investing in something that is going to be detrimental or or hurt you in the long run. But I almost feel like it's hard for the other person to see that. So let's see what the chakra energy is, Gemini. Okay, you have rejection. You are doing this out of love and care. I feel like you are doing this beyond yourself now. It's not just about your wants and desires. It's about what has to happen. Unfortunately, it has to happen. And I feel like other people aren't going to like it. I mean, a lot of people ain't go aren't going to understand, but it's not about you. This is for your person. They have dissipating. It's about them thinking about their power, their intellect, thinking things through and not just seeing it for themselves, but seeing the bigger picture. I feel like they're going to have a problem with that because right now they're narrow minded and they can only think about themselves. We have gossip as the overall energy. This is other people talking about your decisions and how maybe you're not ready for love or you're closing off. I feel like people can't see your side of things. Uh, that's, that's what I'm getting. They just don't see your side. On the bottom of the deck, we have recovery. This recovery means that this is the key. This is the key to things getting better. This is the key to listening to your intuition. It's like the action that needed to take place. All right, so Gemini, don't forget to check out your general. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Blessings. Bye-bye.